the vote. And the mic is not on now, it's on. Hey, Detroit, are we ready? Yes, we are. So before I came out, my team was telling me, and I was talking to some members of the press, and they said, hey, since early voting has started, can you hear me? You can't hear me. They can't hear me. Okay, I'm a, I, di I didn't want to have to stand right here. Okay, can you hear me now? Okay. There we go. So my team was telling me, so you know, Georgia started early voting and they broke historic records in early voting. North Carolina started early voting, broke historic records in North Carolina. Now who is the capital of producing records? <laughs> So we are going to break some records here in Detroit today. Yes, we are. We are going to do this because we know what is at stake and we know the power of the people. This is about the power of the people. This is about knowing each one of us as an individual and as a collective, as a community, as a coalition. We have the power to make the decisions about the direction of our country. And we know this election is about two very different visions for our future. Ours focused on the future, focused on our young leaders, focused on possibility, understanding the ambitions and the aspirations and the dreams of the American people. the people of Detroit, we have grit, we have excellence, we have history, and it's about looking in the face of a perfect stranger and seeing a neighbor and understanding we are all in this together, we all have so much more in common than what separates us, and we are going to fight for this country we love. We are in this to win it. And we know, look, if the race is tight, it's gonna be hard work, but we like hard work. Yeah. Hard work is good work. Yeah. And we will win. Yeah. And we will win. So you all are here taking time out of your busy lives and all your other obligations. And I thank you so very much. And I know, and, and I know what today is. We're here because this is a working day. We're ready to get out there. We're ready to walk the neighborhood. We are ready to talk with our neighbors and our friends and just the people that we see and remind them they are important and that we are so optimistic about our new generation of leadership for America and what we will do together. That is about investing in working people, in middle class people, in our children. What we do in terms of caring about the education of our children, which is why we're not falling for the other guy trying to get rid of the Department of Education and Head Start. Because we know what we stand for. We stand for the idea that the true measure of the strength of a leader is not based on who you beat down, it's on who you lift up. And these are the things that we stand for as a community of people that understand the importance of caring and kindness, who understand the importance of having a leader who speaks truth and is not so self-consumed. You know, I keep talking about somebody needs to just watch his rallies if you're not really sure how to vote because he spends full time talking about himself and mythical characters, not talking about the working people, not talking about you, not talking about lifting you up. And so as we spend these next 17 days, we're gonna go vote today, we're gonna remind people to vote, we're gonna register folks to vote, we're gonna email, text, phone call, knock on doors, and we're gonna remind people of what is at stake and with that, I want to thank incredible 
leaders from Michigan who are here, the Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist. He always stands above the crowd. <laughs> we have Representative Slotkin who is here, who we will send to the Senate in November. <laughs> Representative Thundar, who is here, Wayne County Executive Evans, Mayor Duggan, and all of the National Labor Union presidents who are here. And let's not forget the most phenomenal